it's the game week. Almost eight days from that team up north visiting the shoe. But before that, work to do. Buckeyes, oh, check it out. In Maryland tonight, ahead of their matchup with the Terps tomorrow, you're going to hear from Ryan Day in College Park shortly. First, Region Final Friday on Football Friday Night. Jared Small, Justin Holbrock. Divisions 4, 6, and 7 do battle tomorrow. We start tonight with the showdown in Division 1. Yeah, Gahan has been on a mission to get to this point, enjoying the best season in school history, but they've never won a region title. Well, New Albany's Eagles standing in the way tonight. A rematch from a game earlier in the season. Region 3 final, Historic Cruise Stadium, the spot. Dior Hubbard, District Offensive Player of the Year. More than 2,000 yards this season. Here's an example of why. 56 yards, he will eventually go as he eludes the tacklers. Second play of the game there. Gahanna extends its lead to 12 to three. Just before the half, Brennan Ward, a quarterback to Jalen Scott. Touchdown, Gahanna 18-3 at the break. New Albany, however, comes alive at a second half. Christian Manville, look at that man go. 18 yards for the score. Then the kickoff here to Makai Shahid. He's already got a 64-yard touchdown catch on the night. How about 88 yards the other way? Every time New Albany got within a possession, Gehanna had an answer on offense and defense, and the Lions win it. 25-17, first region title since 1982, third in school history. They get defending state champ St. Edward next week. In Region 2, the upstart Olentangy Liberty Patriots went 5-5 five five this season, then ripped off three straight wins to make the region final against Springfield. Opening drive, Wildcats fumble the ball near the goal line. Patriots recover. It's Bailey Bird on the recovery. Bird is the word. But <laughs> Springfield gets the ball right back and punches it in this time. Bryce Scholdenmeyer for six. Springfield up 14-0 at the half. Even more, Scholdenmeyer again to Anthony Brown for the touchdown, and Springfield marches on to the state semifinals. 35-7, great season though for Liberty. Now the D3 Region 11 final. Watterson, Bloom, Carroll been on a collision course all year. Here's the showdown. And to sales tonight, first play of the game. Bloom, Carroll's Dylan Armantrout takes the give, and watch this work. Weaving up the field, he will run 80 yards, set the tone for the game. BC goes up 13-0, but Watterson not going away. Eagles coming right at you here. AJ McCantich to Dominic Purcell, and he's in there. BC, though, would answer right back. Armantrout again, weaving up the middle, fighting through tacklers, end zone. Watterson eventually takes the lead in this game. Zach Weber running hard for six here for Watterson, but a late Bulldog touchdown and an interception in the final minute seal it. And the Bulldogs win a region final for the third straight year, 33-28. They're going to face Tippecanoe next week at London in the D3 semifinals. To Division 5, one of the biggest showdowns in the state. Undefeated Harvest Prep taking on fellow unbeaten Ironton. Third quarter, Ironton already up 14. Quarterback Braden Shrek, I'm a believer. You're an all-star to tie uh, Perkins in the end zone. <laughs> Harvest Prep trying good. to make something happen. Aiden Rodgers scrambles, under throws. Ty Perkins again comes up with a big play interception there. Shrek back to the swamp, finds Perkins again. <laughs> they go up 28 zip, fighting Tigers in a route 34 to zero, but another great season for the Warriors of Harvest Prep. All right, playoff game set for Saturday now in divisions four, six, and seven. Only one Central Ohio team still fighting, and it's Newark Catholic, the lone Central Ohio team to make the final weekend last year. The Green Wave taking on Hannibal River in the Region 27 final. Our play of the night, New Albany scored to get within eight points, and then Gehanna did this on the ensuing kickoff. Makai Shahid takes it the other way. He also had a 64-yard touchdown. This one was 88 yards, and it would prove to be the game winner. Gehanna advances to the state semifinals. So we started the evening with a few teams. Now we're down to two on Friday. We got one tomorrow potentially with uh, Newark Catholic. Obviously, a big one coming in eight days. Bill Conley told you earlier you can't care about that game yet. Right. The game before the game. That's right. <laughs> Busy.